I, what I'm going to do is read something, uh, little bits from a catalog that was actually a collaboration between myself and Jerry Kearns. It's a catalog of his show in New York City in March. It's called Whiskey Business, and it's sort of an artist book that we did together, and it has you know, color plates and so forth of all the paintings that are in the show. It was at Kent Fine Art in March. Mm -hmm. And he and I have, have done a lot of work together for a long time. We've done performance art, we've done artist book stuff, we've done newspaper stuff and so forth. And this is uh, the slideshow. I kind of just thought it would be, I like my text and I thought it would, it would be fun to make it into some kind of performance thing and so on. But I don't have the slides that are in this show. So I filled it in with other artist slides who, and we'll list them at the end or whatever so people will know what they are. Mm -hmm. But they're just gonna kind of flash by. And it's really sort of a reading to art, which provides the illustration for the reading. And some of the work is by Jerry Kearns whenever there's a comic and news image put together. Mm -hmm. That's his work. That's what he does. The cartoon he, thing. He combines the sort of fantasy of popular culture with the so-called reality of news photos, and they're collaged on top of each other. They're great big paintings, by the way, when you see these things mm -hmm. that are his. And um, they are, one is called El Norte, which is this, this figure here, which is Oliver North. Um, and one is called Agent Orange, which is a big orange painting with a faucet coming down with a green faucet and so forth. And there's one that'll come up that's a portrait of Casey. Since I don't say any of this, I just thought I'd say something. Sure. This is, uh, has been, I have been accused of writing sort of fiction criticism. I do consider this still to be criticism. It's, it's all tied very much into the art, but it is a little odd for criticism. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so let's just do it. Okay. Good guys, bad guys. It's not so black and white. Everybody's got color now. A golden girl's in your future. Mary in the sky with diamonds, Madonna of glitz. Material girl, supermarketed like a Pop-Tart. It's only easy money if you take your prize and run away. Marilyn died alone, threatening to talk about presidential affairs. Madonna wears gold plastic crucifixes. Kim Fook became a flaming cross. Maybe you didn't know her name the pinup of the Vietnam War, the little girl running down the road, her body smoking with napalm, on her face an expression of disbelief. Her left arm was charred to the bone. As she ran for her life, cameras rolled. She still lives there. She sleeps badly. Heat, sunlight, and tension are painful. She wants to be a doctor, but is only able to study herbal medicine when she's well enough. <laughs> 